What's up? What's up, my loves? How you guys doing? I'm with you, Tiff. I'm going to bring you a reading today. See what the Divine Masculine has going on, okay? How this Divine Masculine is feeling towards you, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, I got some new, new decks, so we're going to go on ahead and try them out together, okay? I do got the books here just in case because I just got them, okay? Okay, with that being said, you might hear some Fortnite in the background. My kids are asleep, but you know we you know how that goes okay so we're gonna see how this divine masculine is feeling about the divine family i just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel if it resonates hit that like button hit that subscribe button it sends an energetic donation out to me hit that notification bell so you know when all of my future readings come out okay i just want to say thank thank you to everybody that keeps sending the cash app donations I mean, that's been amazing. I'm trying to offer the personals, and they're like, no. So, that whoever that is, thank you, okay? Also, um, with this winter storm, I have been backed up on personals. I am, I will be caught up on them tomorrow, okay? So, I'll start answering everybody's emails about personals tomorrow, okay? Also, I will be doing Zodiacs tomorrow. I know I haven't done them in about a week and a half, but this storm and everything, it's delayed everything, okay? All right, spirit, ancestors, and guides, how is this masculine feeling about the feminine spirit? What's this masculine got going on, spirit? hostilities hostilities what are you mad at you for so this divine masculine is mad at you there might not be any communication he might not be talking to you let's see what this hostility means and i'm not going to go in for all the cards but damn we finna find out and it went straight to it defensive up aggressive energy this card shows a man raising his swords when it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding or hurtful. Wow. So this person might be very, very aggressive. They might be saying hurtful things, going off on you, being emotionally abusive right now. Wow, I hope you guys aren't going through that. Let's see, how else is this masculine feeling about the feminine spirit? Indecision. So he's trying to make a decision about you. And you might be trying to move on because here you see, it looks like Little Red Riding Hood and she has two paths she can choose from, right? And it's like, you're ready to move on. You're ready to turn your back to this situation, okay? And I feel like this is why this person can be mad. They could be jealous because you're walking away. They could be trying to put you down and use your self-esteem against you because you want to walk away from this connection. And it's like, now, this is general. It's not going to resonate for everybody. It could be this person, your, your person that has a decision to make. And instead of admitting that they're being a coward and not making these decisions, they're being angry towards you. They're trying to make it out like they're mad at you. They're not communicating with you. If they do, they can say some hurtful things. And I feel like it's due to their own indecision because they can't man up and say, look, you know, let's see. Let's see what else this masculine that's going on here. the temple path let's see. oh envy i literally just said this person is jealous like if you're walking away if you're trying to leave this person behind this person is jealous as hell and the fact of the matter is they see you going towards something happy and they're not happy with that because you see on the inside is very very dark but outside is very very light it's like they might be trying to act like they don't care but on the inside, they're ready to battle. They're ready to fight. They're ready to go the fuck off. And we have the temple path. Since I'm unsure of that, yep, I'm going to the book. Show lamb. No, I'm just kidding. Temple path. What number is that? 12. Okay. 
Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has in mind. This card upright is here to tell you that what you're going through now is all part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction, and the choices you make now are very important for your personal growth and life lessons. So this person is. This person does have a decision to make between two people, okay? Now, if not, this is you trying to make a decision to leave this karmic, this karmic card. Like, if it's them that's making the decision, they have to de decide to leave this karmic. They're learning karmic lessons. They're spiritually growing, and they have to learn, um, learn these karmic lessons. If it's you that's deciding to walk away, spirit is saying this is a karmic. These decisions that you make to deal with this person or leave them alone are crucial right now, okay? Let's see what's at the bottom. Strategy. So somebody I feel like is still trying to work their way back in. I definitely feel like if somebody, if you're broken up, if you're trying to move, walk away from them, they're trying to use tactic strategy to get back in. They're very, very pissed off if you're moving on. They're jealous. They want to fight. They're saying hateful shit. But if this is them, they're trying to strategize a way to get back to you. If they're making a decision between you and a karmic partner, they're using strategy. They're trying to figure out the right way to go about getting back to you. Let's see. Why do we have hostility, Spirit, for this divine masculine? Why do we have hostilities? Because this person's not happy. This person is acting like they're happy on the outside, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? And they see you over here happy moving on, like, okay, it is what it is, like, over here in your own little world. And they're looking in, like, what the fuck? How is this person so happy? This is so crazy because, you see, she's out here on this little old rowboat, bow, boat, enjoying the weather. And look at how he's, like, because it was like this, how he's just kind of looking in there, like, what the fuck? She's not happy? I mean, she's happy? <laughs> Let's see. This person is very pissed off that you're moving on. Very. And I feel like the reason why you could be moving on is because due to their indecision. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, I got to make the decision. What am I going to do? I feel like you're still undecided about moving on. But they're not liking the fact that you're even standing your ground to move on. Why is this indecision here, spirit? Why is this indecision here, spirit? intimacy intimacy i feel like this person is not sure if it's a sexual or if they really truly love you okay it's like this person loves you very very much they enjoy being with you you feel like home uh you also feel like this person is at home it's very very comfortable you know what i'm saying and it's like i feel like both of you guys want to be together okay both of you guys but the indecision is due to this person being overly a player type. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person, they could be going off being intimate and sexual with other people, always back and forth. Never quite sure of what exactly they want out of life. Let's see about envy spirit. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Yeah, they're very, very jealous. It's like... Um, because this says I forgive myself, I am forgiven, and it's like you have it's like you're trying to move on, you're pushing forward. It's like I can't change what has happened, I can't make anybody do anything. But what I can do is forgive myself for dealing with that for so long and move forward. And spirit has been blessing you over and over because of that. And they are jealous, they're like looking in. I'm telling you, you're over here like in your own little world just like you might not be fully happy because you're alone but it's like you're moving on it ain't keeping you down and this person does not like that they thought that they were gonna hurt you they thought that you were gonna wait forever and it's like no you're not you're you're turning your back you're like okay i'm gonna just try to push forward and now they want to come in with and um want you to forgive them now that you've waited so long now it's like forgive me and you're just like okay now that i'm ready to walk away and you see that i'm done now you want to come in what the hell kind of shit is that why is the temple path your spirit
sexual and distorted feminine came out. So somebody could be bisexual here. Let's see. Careful path here, spirit. Yeah, it's because this is definitely a twin flame energy. Look, you got love and yin and yang. This is definitely a twin flame connection, something that you're destined to be on, okay? And it's like this person has a lot of spiritual growing that they have to do. So right now, they're going through karmic lessons. They're going through karma. They're having issues. And it's like this person doesn't have a choice but to try to go down this path and spiritually grow compatibility you guys are definitely meant to be together okay this is something that's supposed to be it's very very beautiful but the problem is this person has a lot of definite twin flame definite compatibility definite intimacy love you know but you're finding it hard to forgive this person you could be the one that's hostile towards this person, cussing them out. Like, I'm fucking tired of you because you keep having me in this energy. Yep, see, the kids are up now. I heard Fortnite. Where it's like, no, I'm trying to move on. Okay? And this divine masculine is not liking it. They're very, very jealous. They're ready to go the fuck off. And I'm telling you, as soon as you turn your back and go to move on, that's when they're like, oh, I made my decision. Can you forgive me? I love you. All right. So somebody's dealing with somebody that's very pissed off out there right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to use some of my old cards. I really love these. I love these. They're new. So I'm going to keep on. We're going to see um, what this karmic is feeling. We're going to see karmic energies with this divine masculine if he's dealing with somebody else. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.